Electric vehicles are the rave of the moment and continue to be a very exciting innovation. Like with most age-long combustion vehicles, robots are extensively used in the manufacturing of electric vehicles. In fact, robots do about 80% of the work involved in manufacturing an EV. But how exactly are these new age wonders of the road built and just how much faster are they to build compared to a traditional combustion vehicles? If you're in the market for an EV or you already own one, but you have no idea how these near magical vehicles are built, then you absolutely want to watch this video till the very end. So keep up. The process involved in manufacturing electric automobiles aren't ones that can be entirely handled by machines yet. Even though most of these processes have been automated and are now mostly handled by robots, more complicated operations still require a great deal of human supervision and input. Robotics and physical labor are therefore used in tandem throughout the whole construction process for EVs. Before an electric car can be deemed a finished product, it must pass through four main manufacturing stages or processes. These stages include preparation of a space frame, painting, integrating the frame with the motor base, otherwise called marriage, and lastly, testing before sending it to the showroom. Preparation of a space frame Every electric car to be manufactured begins with a design process by the manufacturer. Given that EVs customarily have limited storage capacity, it is essential they are designed using as many lightweight materials as possible. This also necessitates that as many safety measures are included in EVs, especially as lightweight materials do not offer as much protection compared to the sturdy materials used in building many gasoline fuel cars. The space frame is a technical name for an EV's skeletal structure and is the first EV component to be designed and built. In the least, five robotic arms are used in the body shop during the first step of getting the space frame ready. This stage begins with a sub-assembly which is basically the process of fitting different skeleton sections together. The skeleton of an EV is usually built of aluminum since it makes the vehicle light and sturdy. You see, the weight of a car affects its performance, speed, and power consumption. The use of aluminum frames is critical thinking and it makes EVs highly efficient. A group of robots assembles all the different parts in the body shop. These robots tighten different parts on the same spot before moving the body to the next area. Because this stage is entirely automated, the whole process is much faster and more seamless. Painting this stage is largely done manually using human labor. A crew of dedicated specialists prepares the skeletons for painting. Any error in getting the space frames ready for a paint job might make the entire painting go wrong. When the team receives a skeleton from the robots, they immediately begin inspecting it for any defects or loose fittings. Following that, each member takes a cloth in their hands and begins washing one of the carefully inspected and approved skeletons. This is because the slightest particle of dust or dirt on the body can derail the entire painting process. The cleaning activity in a pre-painting process and is done with the utmost caution. All team members wear gloves and other protective gear to avoid causing any damage to the frame no matter how little. Painting teams in many EV companies usually comprise four members, with each person having a distinct responsibility to be carried out to perfection. Like with every stage. The painting phase also has a time limit when all skeletons are expected to have been completed before being shipped to the first phase of the painting stage. The first painting phase is largely automated, with the skeletal frames first driven by robotic arms which tilt the frame and dip it in a tank. An average of 7 to 8 minutes is spent on this process per frame, even with the help of the robotic arms. In the tank, a coat of sealant is applied to the entire skeleton, officially kicking off the painting process. The painting process as a whole is divided into four stages. The frames are allowed ample time in the tank to ensure that the coating settles on them properly. After the frames are removed from the tank, they are then dried using a vacuum. While dipping the skeleton in a tank takes time, drying the coating does not. 
A minimum of five robotic arms are also used in getting the coats dry. One arm assists in opening and shutting the rear and front portions of the frame, while the other arms use a vacuum to dry and shine the sealant covering. Directly putting paint on the coating destroys the color shade and quickly depreciates the machinery. So the painting needs to be properly dried through this largely automated and delicate process. After the coatings and sealants have been inspected and confirmed to be thoroughly dry, the skeleton is then transported for the first coat of paint. Depending on the factory, this may occur at the same location where the coat is being dried. Shifting a section of a vehicle's body takes a great deal of time and can expose the frames to the risk of damage. To avoid this, most EV manufacturers apply the first coat in the same location. When the skeleton is finished, it is sent for a second coat of paint. The coating is applied based on the color that was first applied. While brighter colors often take longer to dry off, other less bright colors tend to dry faster. The second coat of paint makes the skeletal frame shine even brighter. As it's commonly observed in many factories manufacturing EVs, one or two out of every 10 outputs are likely to be defective, making the manual inspection of the work done by these robots even more crucial. No company wants to deliver that one defective piece to a customer. The team members examine the skeleton and the surfaces painted and fitted by the robots for any flaws. If everything complies with the standards, it moves on to the next stage. Defective pieces are returned for corrective work, which often takes the same amount of time to redo as a first-time job. Integrating the frame with the motor base. As the skeletons proceed through the various stages, the essential elements are added, making each frame ready for the final integration. The electric motor is the most essential element of an electric vehicle responsible for powering the EV. Any small flaw that goes unchecked could cost the EV manufacturer a lot of money. All the processes involved in manufacturing EVs are carried out simultaneously with a procedure for testing the electric motor being the most delicate. The electric motor operates at full rotations per minute, and during this process, all the test data is recorded and examined by engineers. Faults are quickly identified and worked on. When the robot completes testing the electric motor, a team of professionals puts together all of the electronic parts of the skeleton. This includes the body wiring, electric rear view mirrors on each side, a seat adjustment machine, and every other thing that gets placed on a dashboard. The entire process is manual and no robots are involved, especially as the assembling of electronic components requires many adjustments, which pre-programmed robots are not well suited for. The battery packs are attached to the power train, which is the frame with all the electronic components, including the power brakes. Power brakes remain covered with a protective layer, as they can be very expensive to repair. It's a crucial part that every EV maker wants to protect until the car is sold to a customer to avoid damage and avoidable repair cost. The integration process is essentially initiated when the battery pack and power train have been attached. Attached. The space frame or the vehicle body, the battery pack, the powertrain integration, and the interior fitting are all fitted in during the marriage process. Placing the seats, which are covered in a cushion cover, is the biggest part of fitting the interior. Final testing. After all, the interiors of the vehicle must have been fitted. The car's insignia or corporate logo is then meticulously added as the final fitting, moving the car closer to being ready for a launch. All the integrated parts are now tested again for the last time. Success at this stage clears the EV to be market fit before it's shipped off to showrooms. Every operation of the electric car is tested with major attention being paid to the suspension and throttle. EVs operate using power supplied by their battery. These batteries are attached to an on and off switch that is connected to the EV's electric motor, which in turn controls the wheels. Most EVs have a built-in solar collector, which converts all the solar energy into electricity that is used to recharge the battery. EVs are programmed to control the amount of electricity that travels to their motor and gearbox, which are the main components driving the wheels.
With EVs came a lot of other electric transport gear, like e-bikes and even electric scooters. Electric scooters particularly work in a very interesting way. And we've detailed all of that in this video right here. You absolutely want to check it out. And as always, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel.